Hello friends, Namaskar. Honorable Finance Minister in her budget speech today has spoken that a person who is earning total income up to rupees 7 lakh effective financial year 23-24 will not be liable to pay any single penny of tax liability. So for a common man, this question becomes very important to know that how the tax on total income up to rupees 7 lakh will be net. Because some people have asked me that Mr. Bhatia, the new slab rate which I have seen is just beginning from about 3 lakh rupees. That is 0 to 3 the tax is nil, above 3 then there is a next slab 3 to 6 lakh wherein 5% tax liability would be payable. So how it is that up to 7 lakh rupees a person will not be liable to pay the tax liability at all? So this is an interesting question on which this video is aimed in terms of its discussion and gaining the understanding on the aspect that how a person earning income up to rupees 7 lakh will not be liable to pay a single penny of tax liability effective financial year 23-24, assessment year 24-25. Before I move into my discussion further, let me first put up or invite your attention on this particular point that you all are well aware about this fact that this budget gives a new slab rate which is a revised new slab rate and I'm just reading it for your reference that this new slab rate says that up to 3 lakh rupees tax liability shall be nil from 3 lakh 1 to 6 lakh income 5 percent above 6 lakh that is 6 lakh 1 to 9 lakh it will be 10 percent above 9 lakh up to 12 lakh it will be 15 percent above 12 to 15 tax rate will be 20 and above 15 lakh rupees the tax liability payable shall be 30 percent. So these are the revised new slab rate related slabs which are there before you. However, if I compare them with that which was old slab rate wherein no change has been made and which says that up to 2.5 lakh rupees tax liability will be nil after 2.5 lakh to 5 lakh the tax liability will be in between 10 percent then that is 5 percent beyond 5 lakh to 10 lakh 20 percent and beyond 10 lakh rupees tax liability shall be 30 percent. I reiterate that there is no change in the old slab rate by this proposed by this budget 2023. So now we have to understand that if the basic exemption under old scheme remains 2.5 lakh, basic exemption under the new regime remains to be 3 lakh, then how the tax liability up to rupees 7 lakh shall be going to be nil. So I am trying to do a Khulja Sim Sim approach on that thing for a better understanding of the audience. So if I assume that somebody is earning total income up to rupees 7 lakh only, then how his or her tax liability as a resident associate would be computed and here my presumption is that such person likes to be governed under the provision of new regime. So under new regime what will happen as I have already told you in my previous slide the tax on first 3 lakh will be nil, 3 lakh to 6 lakh it will be 15,000 that is at the rate 5 percent, 6 lakh to 7 percent 1 lakh rupees 10 percent will be 10,000. So your total tax becomes 15,000 rupees but under section 87a, fortunately, the government is proposing that if you are opting for a new regime, we will give you 87a rebate to the tune of rupees 25,000. So maybe you are earning salary income, maybe you are earning house property income or business income or other source, you are going to avail this 87a rebate of 25. And once this 25 is reduced from the 25,000 rupees up to 25,000 tax liability, your ultimate tax liability shall be nil. So this is the beauty wherein the government is saying with a confidence that up to 7 lakh rupees your tax liability shall be nil. Now somebody may ask me that this 87A rebate Mr. Bhatia is also allowable under the old regime as you know. You are right sir. But under the old regime the rebate of section 87A limited to 12,500 previously which has not been altered. So in a way, those who will opt for new regime will get a rebate of 87A 25,000. Those who will continue to be in the old regime, they will get only 12,500. So that is where a big gap would come. And this is how we have tried to understand that up to 7 lakh rupees if somebody is earning, there is no need to pay single penny of tax liability at all. So to that extent, the government's declaration is very valid. One point which I would like to narrate here is that yes, the 7 lakh rupees income and corresponding tax liability being nil is a right proposition 
but this new slab rate comes with certain limitation what are the limitation that as it does not allow to claim the benefit of hra exemption lta exemption interest on self occupied property to the tune of rupees 2 lakh rupees and various deductions which we claim generally under section 80c like 1 lakh 50000 for lic ppf pf contribution elss investment etcc d like nps contribution up to 50000 which we claim extra atd medical insurance health checkup expenses atg contribution to charitable entities all these deductions would not be permissible when you are offering income under the new slab rate so one very important point which a viewer should understand that your computation of total income under the old regime and under the new regime would be certainly giving you two different figures yes if i assume if somebody is not having any kind of exemption claims like this then under both the regime probably the total income will be same and in that case again this scenario would be applicable that if you are earning rupees 7 lakh rupees income then you need not to pay single penny of tax liability however i would suggest that maybe you are benefited in new regime or old regime this thing should be decided before the filing of the return and one very important aspect which you as a viewer should understand that effective financial year 23 24 for which this budget 23 would apply this new regime has been made operative by default and old regime needed to be selected so you have to consult with your charter accountant tax consultant who would guide you better that which regime is beneficial and wherever your tax liability will be low that you can opt for here my dear friends i am further adding one example for your reference that if somebody is a person who is earning salary income of rupees 10 lakh then how his or her tax liability under the old and new regime comparatively can be seen for the financial year 23 24 and i have taken certain assumptions say for example income from salary under old slab new slab both the cases is 10 lakh standard deduction under the old slab is 50000 under the new slab it is an interesting thing to be noted that previously under the new regime standard deduction was not allowed but this budget says that now while you are opting for new slab we will also give you a deduction of a standard deduction which is very interesting point then home loan interest suppose self occupied house property related home loan interest one can claim under old scheme but here it will be nil now what will be the final gti under both the regimes it will be 7 lakh 50000 rupees here and 9 lakh 50000 rupees here now let's say if i further assume that this person has invested 1 lakh 50000 into various schemes for claiming atc benefit and he has also contributed into nps of rupees 50000 even if he has contributed under new slab he will not be available to claim any deduction so finally the total income under the both of the regimes would be respectively 5 lakh 50000 and 9 lakh 50000 now if i compute the tax liability here up to 2.5 lakh in old regime tax would be nil 2.5 to 5 it will be 5% above 5 on 50000 it will be at the rate 20% so final tax liability comes to 22500 here in this case up to 3 lakh tax liability will be nil 3 lakh to 6 lakh tax liability will be 5%, 6 lakh to 9 lakh it will be 10%, above 9 lakh it will be 15%. So final tax come to 52,500. So if there is a person who is investing, you can see that even in such a scenario, the old slab appears to be beneficial as compared to new slab in the case of this person. so it would basically depend upon the facts and circumstances of the case that whether the person remains more benefited in the old slab or new slab this is what i try to put up through example finally my dear friends i must say that this video would have been able to convince you that yes the government is saying right that if your total income is up to rupees 7 lakh under the new slab calculation which is revised new slab calculation then you need not to pay any single penny of tax liability at all however it is a matter of fact to be decided in the context of the investments of an assessee in the context of home loan interest etc that what is the final total income under the old slab and under the new slab and accordingly the final tax liability whichever is beneficial to the assessee may be required to be paid so i hope this video has served the purpose Thank you very much for being with me wishing you all the best jai hind